Hi guys, welcome back. So there we have it, Leinster 26, La Rochelle 27, La Rochelle back-to-back -back champions. Amazing stuff. The Leinster Toulouse semi was amazing. And again, this Irish-French matchup was just phenomenal. That first half, some absolutely amazing attacking rugby from Leinster. And then it all starts to turn with the try just before half-time. And La Rochelle come clawing back into it and make it just there towards the end. I like to tell the story of the match, the emotions of the match, and try and pick up some of the key technical aspects as well. Now, not even one minute on the clock, and Leinster start with a bang. It's a short clearance from Dulan, and Leinster call a short line out, and it is a peach of a line out. Conan's hiding at the back of the line out, peels around the lifter to the front, takes it short, throws it back to Sheehan, who just runs in unopposed just a beautifully constructed line out La Rochelle looking dumbfounded 7-0 burn slots the tricky conversion it's the perfect start a amazing start to a final and Leinster aren't done that yet they get straight back on it six minutes in Leinster on fire an amazing 50-22 from low who's kicking at the beginning of the match was excellent and then he fell away towards the end and quite a lot of Leinster players started almost perfectly and then fell away and made mistakes towards the end. But this time an amazing 50-22. Gibson Park, a genius selection of runners, sees Keenan, makes a decisive thrust and then Byrne buzzes the ball out wide. O'Brien scores. Amazing stuff. 12-0. And La Rochelle must feel they've just been mugged six minutes in and they're 12-0 down. And they've got to slow down this blue juggernaut. To be fair to La Rochelle, they do get into a couple of dangerous positions and have some big runs, but Leinster are so good on that defensive blitz, spotting when to shoot up out of the line, the likes of Henshaw and Keenan making key blitz tackles behind the gay line. A you know, brilliant heads-up play from Gibson Park as he spots Sheehan is actually free down the blind, even though there's about four La Rochelle players there. They're just not expecting a reverse of direction they're caught with their pants down, and it's another great try for Sheehan. 17 0, just phenomenal stuff. Just shows you how amazing Leinster's set plays are in attack, but also they're definitely looking for that heads up play as well. In this first 15 minutes, Gibson Park, Sheehan, Conan have just been on fire. Almost perfection. And finally, the spell is broken as Gibson Park throws a dead duck of a spin pass to low, just dies below his boots. He fumbles it. La Rochelle get a five metre scrum and they show their power. Jonathan Dante at 12 plays bumper cars with Ring Rose. He goes over, dots down, great try, good power play, and they're back in the game. They needed that to break that spell. Boshia gives away a cheap penalty, so Burn slots that 27. To be fair, Bossier does make some great low squat turnovers later on. He's a hell of an athlete. Now, in this first half, La Rochelle were continuing to try and run the ball from deep and getting in trouble. Leinster getting another penalty. 23-7, a bit of a scuffle breaks out because La Rochelle know they're under the cosh and they're a bit rattled. Another interesting point, James Ryan has to go off for an HIA by tackling low and catching a hip which just illustrates that tackling low isn't a cure-all to head knocks and he actually doesn't return. So that was a big loss for Leinster because he was playing really well up until that point. And another note that a big difference between Leinster and La Rochelle actually all through the game in attack is they're just doing everything that bit quicker. Their ruck speed's a lot quicker and in defence, their defensive line was quicker. La Rochelle were taking a lot of times between phases. The difference in the second half is they just kind of had all the possession. Anyway, on 38 minutes, a key, key point here. La Rochelle continue to run from deep, and this time they manage to break free with a little chip from Hastoy, and then the big number six again dribbles the ball on, but his football skills just aren't that great, so he can't pick up and score. However, finally, La Rochelle string a long phase of attack together without giving away a penalty or making a mistake, and Leinster just run out of tacklers. Much more like it. Uh, Satini runs in the try. He was good all game. Both centres were actually 23-14 just before half-time. Obviously, a nine-point gap was much better than a 16.1, but that was crucial to get a little bit of momentum going into the half, 23-14. OK, so into the second half, which La Rochelle absolutely dominate. At the end of it, Leinster actually only scored three points in the whole half. 
La Rochelle's starting quick. They're going through those phases again. Like I said, they're not quick phases, but Lenta are just starting to miss a few tackles now. The great line for Satini again forces an easy three points, so that's 23-17. La Rochelle do gift them back a three points though straight away, so it's 26-17, but that's the end of the Lenta scoring. And from now on, it's just a case of holding on. And Lenta, goodness me, they nearly hold on right to the end. An amazing effort, but you can't just hold on for 35 minutes. Minutes. Anyway, on 48 minutes, Lentz to form the world's longest caterpillar ruck. I do wonder if rugby authorities will try and stop that because it gets a little bit silly for the clearance. But Gibson Park is told very clearly the ball's taken back into the 22, but he still kicks it out on the full. And this starts you know, a real series of bad errors for Lentz that were costly. La Rochelle turned down a good attacking position from a penalty to get an easy three, and they do this a few times early on, so 26 20 and La Rochelle start to dominate the possession and importantly the territory and we go through just a series of amazing defensive plays from Leinster. Dan Sheehan first of all with a vital jackal but they just can't get back on the front foot but La Rochelle are just dominating this ball. The shape of their attack isn't massively complex. It's not really troubling Leinster particularly. However, Leinster keep making mistakes, allowing more and more attacks. Two terrible kicks from James Lowe just absolutely kills them. And in the second half, this was their problem. Whenever they got out of trouble, they were just getting themselves back into trouble as well. On 55 minutes, a shattering power move from La Rochelle. And it looks to get Leinster in trouble. But Leinster do well. They concede ground without doing anything silly. Then they pounce, this time van der Fleer. And early on in the second half, the ref was very much on the side of Leinster. And only just towards the end did La Rochelle make that more pay. Anyway, the next defensive play, which is amazing, is from Henshaw, who gets a great turnover. They finally get a good uh, bit of territory, but they can't build any possession. So La Rochelle straight back on it. It's just like Groundhog Day. More problems from the Maul for La Rochelle, just as they're thundering forward. And goodness me, that Maul was thundering forward. So you're starting to think, maybe Leinster can do this. They can keep holding them out. Then we have a massive period of play. Big decision for La Rochelle. Penalty in a good attacking position. They've taken the point so far, but not this time. But it's a terrible kick to touch. But anyway, they go through a load of uh, line outs, a load of mauls, and they start getting some penalties. Amazing that Leinster don't get a yellow at this point. They just batter away at the line for absolutely ages. And you just can't tackle for that long against such big guys. And eventually La Rochelle are over. That goes to 26-27 and a yellow for Kelleher. So La Rochelle take the lead. And Leinster have defended for a full half hour at this point and paid the price. They just haven't fired a shot. However, Leinster do have a chance. I mean, they're st uh, struggling to find space with 14 men because they've got that yellow card. But then Jonathan Dante kind of goes, well, let's even it up, stays upright in the tackle and gifts the yellow back. So it's 14 versus 14, and they get a great attacking line out from this. And I thought Leinster might do it here. They put some big faces together. Charlie Nagatai, who's on for Henshaw, powers through some tacklers really impressive right up to the line but the ball just squirts out of the ruck right at the wrong time absolutely crucial error there i thought leinster might do it but a shocking clearance from Doolan gives him one more attack but the ref stops play for a nasty injury but it's because michael Al alatoa of leinster has flown into a ruck completely out of control gets a head and head clash that's a red card and probably loses the game for Leinster. Harsh, but no, probably true. So full time, 26-27. La Rochelle make that comeback, dominate that second half. Well done them, back-to-back -back Champions Cups. But you've got to say Leinster will be absolutely gutted. They didn't need to do that much in attack in the second half. Just to try, just a couple more penalties, and they'd have got it over the line. So phenomenal, compelling final. Each half completely different. But to be honest, Leinster only scored three points in the second half and you just can't do that and expect to win. But they'll be gutted because they know they were in that winning position. They didn't need to do much more to get the win. But an amazing comeback from La Rochelle. They deserve it. Well done them. Let me know all the comments on this game. I'd love to know your thoughts as always. And I'll catch you next time.